Sometimes we just need to be getting on with some jobs at home. So I've got nothing to report for the next few days because I have to be getting on with some jobs at home. So I'm just going to put together some random clips that I've meant to form part of videos that never got off the ground while me and the dog have a game of football and then I'll go back and get on with this stuff at home before I'm in serious trouble. Well I am already I think. Oh, bust it. Fetch it here. Fetch it here. Hey! Psst. Fetch it here. Come on. Fetch it. Fetch it here. Jess, fetch it here. Gun in the tree. <laughs> All right, get down. Right, are you ready? It's almost as good as the slingshot, the uh, shepherd's sling. Are you going to drop it before you bust it? Yeah, deaf dog. Right, we'll get on and play this with the for another ten minutes, and then I've got to get back and get some work done. Right, so I'll catch you when I get some of my jobs done. These jobs are fairly big jobs, but uh, shouldn't be too long. I'll let you into them when I. When I've, when I've done them, <laughs> in case it all goes wrong. Uh, it's nothing to do with, well it is, it is sideways to do with uh, the channel and bushcraft, but uh, only, it'll, it'll help me anyway. I'll have more place to store stuff, better organised. Right, I'll get back to you. You're slobbering all over your own head. Now I can't throw left-handed. Well, I can, but it won't be very good. Are you ready? Hey? Eh? Comes back almost as fast as it went. Good dog. Good dog. Right, hey, get out of it. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready?
rat bag. Right, so what we have here is a homemade bowl made out of uh, plastic piping, uh, just a prototype, but uh, a Manticore Knives, Paul of Manticore Knives has made seven of these bowls at different weights. I don't know whether the weights were deliberate or whether they were just weighed when they come off the production line. Uh, and I say production line because he didn't just bend these freehand, free he actually made a format to bend them on. Uh, so we're just testing them out and this one has been weighed at 42 pounds. 42 pounds at 28 inches. So there's no arrow shelf, so I've got a glove on my arrow shelf hand. And uh, it's just a test, just to see if they break we know they don't because we've already tested them and this one as I say is 42 pounds and they work all right uh, obviously I haven't got a I haven't got a thing on my arm so and yes I don't know what I'm talking about but it doesn't matter does it who cares you can make a bow out of plastic pipe and paracord. And even hit the target with it. So this is uh, 42 pounds, so we're just warming up. Trouble is the grass is a bit long, so if we lose an arrow, or if we miss the target, there's a high probability we're going to lose the error. Right, so now we'll go to... Forty two, forty seven. This one, I'm not sure whether this one is the thicker plastic. I think it is, yeah, a lot thicker plastic. And it is 62 pounds at 28 inches. Right. We'll just warm up a little bit, I think. So my technique won't be very good on a 62 pound bow, but because uh, I haven't had enough practice. But considering these have got no, sh no um, arrow rest on, no sights whatsoever, and we can still hit the target. Except with that one, that one <laughs> went over the top. So we might just have a little stop just to see if we can pick the arrows up. 